thing though, the first time I went to the answer, uh, I also made con tried to make contact another time and she didn't open the door and I called uh, Mr. Dunphy. What the hell, woman? Mr. You don't Dunphy. open the door? Claire, I don't know who that woman was. She could be trying to fertilize me. You on them pills. That's what it is. You on them pills. Her and the children, but she would not get back in touch with me. I've left, left voice messages and even attempted going to the house. Claire, to get your kids back, you're gonna have to open the door and answer the phone. I have no That's problem with doing that. Okay. But you're Listen, facilitating this. You can't tell me what I need to do and don't I do. Can't tell I have I had so many people in and out of my house, and when a stranger walks up to the door, I don't know who they are. And the last time I opened the door, y'all came in and took my damn kids. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. They need to. I need to know who at all is working in this. You see this many people. Well, maybe you, you want this many people in your house. You shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't. It feels like you have been. Let Claire talk. Okay, I down. say prescribed medication and too much of it. Let Claire talk. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell them. <laughs> Claire, the woman next to you right now is your worker. When she calls, you're gonna have to answer. When you come to your house, you're gonna have to open the door for her. Lady, next time you come to the house, tell her you're from Walgreens. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that big son of a bitch come up with a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody is going back on me. Well, that's because it's your fault, all of it. Kaylee, I'm going to get two seconds. Bill, you're also dad. Have you had any phone conversations with your worker? Yes. Okay, what have you guys talked about? Getting my kids back. What, what are you doing to make that happen? I'm doing everything I can. But the fact of the matter is, I have to work. Okay. She is the one that's supposed to be helping take care of the house and getting the home back to where it's supposed to be, but she's not doing it. Well, I just don't feel like you understand. I just had a baby, and yeah, I have been down since Luke was been born. That was 11 months 11 ago. Months. <laughs> okay. There's people that's pregnant and on their second one after 11 months. You can get this thing. <laughs> <second. laughs> All I wanted. <laughs> Well, that's another problem I got. I'm at work, and it's just like today. You don't always get a single day off. You work every day. I do, seven days a week, 14 seven hours a day. Week. And he puts all the stress of the home and the kids and the cleaning and everything on me. You're going to have to talk you to your boss to get well a day off. Because until your worker can see the inside of your house, we can't address that safety concern that kids have. Come. Okay, can we go right now after this meeting? You'll have to set that up with your worker. All of it. We will talk after the meeting. We will come back another time. Go around and talk to Haley. Haley, do you have concerns? How do you feel about going home? Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, everything's always my fault, Haley. Of course, it is your Everything fault. Everything is always. Haley. I'm in a chair for a reason. My dad is dead, and look, now we don't even get to be together. You think that I intentionally got in a car accident and killed your father? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you were drugged out of your mind. I don't Haley, know. Haley, talk to me. Let's get back to. Right now, arguing with your mom about what happened 10 years ago is not going to solve the problem at hand. So. Okay, well, I don't understand why we've only seen, seen my dad, my mom, once since we were removed from Frank and Grace. Frank and Grace? Grandma and Grandpa. Grandpa. Why? I agree with you on that, Haley. I would I, like I'd to see you guys more. Okay, so it was like more visit. Well, how come we can't get them all in the same house? Could that be a go? I'm sorry, I'm gonna shut up and play my role. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the kids were staying with Mr. French, and then after Alice had to go inpatient, they should be separated. Also, I had another complaint for you. Yes. I would like my mom to stop taking her medicine that makes her so sleepy. She needs to take it. Well, maybe she shouldn't take so much. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been to the doctor and gotten it and made sure that you're taking the I have to go to my doctor every six months for a checkup. I have to go there every month to get my medication. You should change doctors because I think this one is a drug dealer. Okay, now I'm going to talk to Claire. Claire, how do you feel like your prescription medication is affecting the way your house is and the 
environment your kids are in? I've taken this prescription medication since I had the accident. I do not think I take it as prescribed. I think that I I know that since Luke has been born, I've had I've been depressed, I've been tired, mm -hmm. and the house has kind of fallen back, and I haven't been able to keep up with it. But I just don't. No, you better shut. <laughs> I just don't get the help that I need. To it, I get no support from him. Mm -hmm. See, how do you know? You're asleep all the time. You don't know what I do. I know you're never home. Your worker is here to get you evaluations to help you get referrals so you can get some help so we can address the things that are happening that cause the kids to be removed. She's, if you're interested in it, she will guide you and help you. Yes, Haley. Dad works all the time. What's your excuse? What do you mean you need help? You're at home all the time. I've got my broom. God. Haley, hey, that's not exactly fair. Even people who and anyone can get depression, and well, don't give me a long person sure. going to get us any further in this. That was ten hey. years ago. She, I'm in a chair. She, get over it. I can't it. move around. I can't. But you don't see me. You want me to get over losing my stuff? <laughs> yes. <laughs> move on with your life. I can talk with you just as good in our house. I, I'm happy to take you and Luke. And I'm sorry we can't take Alice. I'm glad that the that, that, that Hannah Mitchell can take Alice for now. But really. I agree with both Bill and Claire. They don't always agree with each other, obviously, but I agree with them. There's really not that much of a problem at the house. Happy to have the kids for now, but what really, again, is the problem in the house? I don't see it. Yes, other than all the arguing. Other than all the arguing. Well, I can't, no one can assess the safety until the worker is able to visit the house and speak with the parents. So we need to get together and have that. That is one of my problems, I feel like. This meeting is attacking me for my medication, but all I was told was when the child, children were taken that because the house was messy, and now it seems like there's other things being brought up. It wasn't just messy. Just no, saying. Was it was food. dirty. I can understand that that's frustrating, but it's something it's a concern that your children have, that your worker has, and it's been noted in your visits that you're nodding off, and it's a concern, and we would like to address it and get you some help. I'll give them now. I would like to talk to Jay for a minute. One of the concerns was not enough visits. Um, do you, is your home, would that be open for business? Would you be open having Alex visit her siblings at your home? That's fine. That's okay. fine. It has to be supervised. I'm not saying with Claire by myself. Okay. Yeah. Jane? I, I don't want Claire to be alone with the children either in their best interest. Well, as of now, our plan is to have supervised visits, and then later on after we completed those, we can move on to the discussion about unsupervised visits. Yeah. Hey, speaking of visits, I would like to ask the foster parents, are they willing to transport the kids? We we can, okay. too. Okay. Yes, okay. we're willing. We can. Okay. We'll do whatever we, we can. We love all three of them. In between Phil and... Um, and I, we can, but not during work hours. Yeah, yeah. Like they'll be around our work but schedule. But I'm okay because I, time for me. I don't have a job, so yeah. <laughs> and another thing that I will, on the visitation schedule, I would like for the parents to visit the kids at least weekly. Okay. Is that possible? Yes. I've seen them at least once a week right now. I'd like to see them every day. And if the siblings, I would want them to we'll visit do something and get them back, and you will. Walmart won't let them get out. <laughs> Just get them out. Get them out, girl. Get them out. That ain't gonna happen. I can't get off work. <laughs> I think I'll be. I, I can be there, and I can uh, help Alice get better. Are you sure you won't be sleep? Because the kids, um, she complained to me about you being sleepy. Am I sleeping now? Okay. I don't know. I can't tell. It's not, it's not <laughs> we have a lot of this stuff going on right now. We have foster parents like this. We have a lot of counseling sessions. That is a lot of good stuff going on. Yes. <laughs> yes, Granny. <laughs> I would like to have contact with Haley. I'm retired, and I live alone. I have extra bedrooms for Haley. Would you be um, willing to sign up for respite? Case Gloria need a weekend. I don't know what to do. I think I think at least two of them should stay together for now. Just 
can break them up in three different ones. But we can, well, we, we can work out getting Well, that's just be like a little, like, make, like a little, like, Haley just goes off and visits grandma yeah, okay. one day of the weekend. I think you might be handling all the business. Lori will act rest. Okay. Yes, Haley. I think it's really important that Alex and Lou stay together. So I agree that, I agree that <coughs> by putting my kids in foster care in one of them shelter, shack, whatever they call them, for three more months. Oklahoma does not utilize shelters anymore. We're going to keep try and keep your kids with all this willing family around. Yeah, they're not going in there. And another thing, they say I need services. I'm the only sane one in this bunch. <laughs> uh, job. I don't need any services. She's one of these services. But are you not an excuse for your house getting into this state? Just that ain't my job, lady. Right? I don't work every day. You're the dad. You, you are have to make sure your kids are safe. I don't work every day. No, you have She's to make sure your kids are safe. That's You're not an excuse about for letting your house get in this condition and putting your kids just you oh. <laughs> It ain't my fault the woman ain't fixed. I don't feel safe. Have you got any contact with your landlord? Yet? The last I heard, y'all were getting in contact with the landlord. So how is that going? Worker, how's that going? <laughs> we have talked to the landlord, and the landlord did say he was going to get someone over there as soon as possible to fix that. Uh, so he had He's to rectify the issue. You still yet? haven't fixed it? But I think it's still no. your responsibility to contact the landlord. I'm going to do what I can to help, but you, it's still your responsibility on your end to it's talk to your landlord. Her responsibility. <laughs> I work. Um, I'm a foster care worker, but I just want to remind everybody that this is a really safe place and a place for non-judgment. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe we should come from a positive place instead of being so aggressive. Oh, I have something positive to say. Yes. My dad is an angel. He hasn't done anything wrong. So you there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Claire, we've been friends since the third grade. If you need support, if you need writing counseling, if you need anything extra help, <coughs> all you want is to take my baby. You can't have babies of your own if you want to take my own baby. That's why you wouldn't take the other kids. Oh, That's really nice of you. I'll wait for you. <laughs> 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 Hear that bottle rattling over there? Yeah. That's the sound of oxycodone. I want to get back to the visitation. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get back to the visitation. I wanted to see if the foster parents are willing to commit to get the siblings together as often as possible. I, I want to see them together in, back in the home. That, that's the togetherness. I want to so I'm willing to cooperate However, that, what, whatever you say, whatever you say, to get them back home. Yeah, we All want right. the siblings to visit as much as possible while they're in foster home, and um, <coughs> it's okay if you guys do it on your own. I don't have to be available. Jay, to, how many to hours a week are you willing to provide for visitation? How many? Well, um, if, if you need to Claire, Claire never being alone in the home without me there. Yeah, uh, I don't know why she wants to. She's been mad at me forever. Me. She but is Miss Margarita. That's the title that she won. I don't know why she wants to. You're blaming me for your dad. Okay, you're well, your mom. we're going to have Jay supervise, so it's not an issue. Let's move on, Jay. I can be there in the evening if, if it's for me. I can be there. If I don't need to be there, then it can take place during the day, but only what the Lord Okay. Can we all have Haley? What time we got to have 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 it may be if you ain't gonna get nothing fixed. Yeah, just get your life together. I'm gonna have to pray for you at church. <laughs> I'll be at the court, uh, at the court uh, hearings and stuff, but 
I really can't help with being kind of a Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, get back to business. I know it's important for the kids to see other family mem members as well. I am open to any other family members visiting the kids anytime if the foster parents are willing to do that. Granny does. Granny down. I lost my son. I'm not gonna blame you though. Because it said I forgave you. <laughs> 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 it's been, it's been yes. And the lie is good, and I'm glad you're saying that. You're welcome. Yeah. 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 Anyone else have any concerns that were not already addressed? Well, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I've got a problem where the kids are at right now. I know they're being taken care of. But how long before we can get the kids all living in, under the same roof? Well, we'll I can't take them. When we move into the big house, look, we have no problem taking them. I can't give you a first year answer. For now, you need to concentrate on getting the worker a visit to your home, visiting with her, and she will get the groom as fast as you can, but you have to work with her. Yes, um, One of my concerns, I think Claire needs to um, enter a rehab for her pill addictions. Heck yeah. I think she needs to go through a program well, she's for that to help herself. Can you suggest that or her something? We could we could do um, Skype, <laughs> Skype, Oval, video chat, anything you want, baby. Okay, are you listening to me, Haley? Skype, Oval, anything you want to have visits, phone calls. It's the same thing as Skype, but better. Just letting you know. other siblings more often. Is there any way that we can commit to a specific time, like every week? Can we start off with a number, maybe once a week or twice a week? Is there any way we can We can do twice, two with, or three times a week. Can we get with each other and figure out yes, we can. a specific day? What day of the week works for you? Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday. or Wednesday. Saturdays. <laughs> Wednesdays we go to church though, so I have to be in after church. We could take um, them to church if you want us to. I just got it because <laughs> the blow. Well, let me, and I got another question. Just because she do not go through her services. Who's in jungle, man? Are you being available for house visits and living with your worker? You're going to have to make time for that. This is your children. This is very important. But you've got to think about it from my standpoint. I have to work. Can you guys not accommodate me any? I mean, is it beyond y'all to come to my house at 9 o'clock at night? No, it's not. We These are your that. children, though. But it's my job. It's he got to have an income. Children. Yes, but children. Oh, work yeah, them. I understand what you're saying. Your children are required to visit you once a month. That has to be 9 o'clock at night. If that's the only way you can do it, your worker's going to accommodate you. But you have to tell her when you can visit with her. Well, I do, but they always say, I can't get out there that late. All, all I ever hear is they knock on the door, she's asleep or won't answer the door. But what I'm saying is if I can't if I can't do my services and she can't do hers because she won't, what's going to happen? You're going to have to find a way to get to your services because even though you work, that's not an excuse for having a, inadequate housing for your children. But what's going to happen if we don't? That's going to be up to your worker and up to the court. I can't answer that for you. Yes, your worker would like to take Bill, I am willing to come to your house. If you're available at 9 o'clock at night, I am willing. How about I give you my work schedule next week? Yeah, we, can, yeah we can work something out, and I'm yeah. willing to come. She won't know. She won't even be awake. Yeah, 
And if you need help cleaning your house, just let me know. All right. Okay. So you, you right <laughs> me and my husband. Let's take that. Oh, Monday. Feisty. Feisty. She just did that about earlier. Now, what is You got a fly on the wall with a bird, you get burned. Monday is in Tuesday. Cameron and Mitchell are going to bring Alex to the Christian home. On Wednesday, Cameron and Mitchell are going to pick up Haley and Louis at home. And then on I don't care if it was there or not. I want to see my children more than my Okay. As far as I can tell you right now, any time after 9 o'clock, any day next week, I don't know. I'll tell you which day, Wednesday, get a little Jesus in you. <laughs> uh, I see you being a superstar. I'm sorry. Will you go by the mall or something? Children back into her 